Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. So we've discussed the really tragic situation that's arisen as a result of this documentary that was made pertaining to Pattaya here in Thailand and talking about child exploitation and, and, and you know, trafficking exploitation of folks, and, you know, sex exploitation, it's just terrible things. And I don't want this video to be misconstrued. Yes, it's, a, it's an absolute tragedy. Anytime a child is harmed in any way, but especially in this way, and especially intentionally and maliciously like this, it's a bad thing. There's no doubt about that. I'm not making this video to diminish or belittle what happened in a tragic set of circumstances. And as we've discussed in other videos, you know, in my opinion, they've, they've brought in the big guns, if you will. They've brought in big joke to go after this scourge. And I'm pretty sure he's going to get results at the end of the day. This is a serious individual. Quite honestly, in my mind, this is the perfect person to put on this mission because I think, come hell or high water, he's, pro he's going to fulfill it. The, but the point of this video is more, there's this weird trend. This seems to happen every couple of years. It, it was kind of something that with COVID, it just wasn't happening at all, because quite honestly, there weren't tourists here, and you just weren't seeing it. But Western media always takes these incidents that, that are usually very singular events that unfortunately occur involving just some bad actor that, you know, and then it's sort of used to sort of communally blame all of Thailand for the world's ills. And, and my first sort of response when I was reading about this whole thing was, you know, there's always this kind of implicit message that this is just something happening out here in Thailand. Well, I don't know if folks have been following, you know, the success of the Sound of Freedom movie or the guy behind that particular project who's talked about for years now, apparently, that no, this has always been a pervasive problem. It's all over the place. This isn't something Thailand-centric, okay? And on top of that, whatever the case was in the past, as we've discussed recently, the digitization of Thailand's immigration system most assuredly has blocked out a lot of these foreigners who would be coming here to perpetrate horrible crimes on the children of Thailand. But law enforcement is now not messing around. So this is done. As I, may, as I said in another video, no one wants those people here. Quite honestly, we've, we've rolled out the kind of Wyatt Earp type to go deal with this. And that's what's going to happen. Now, that said, let's get back to reminding people that at the end of the day, you can't just use one event to sort of tar a whole place and everybody involved with a, with, with a whole city, let alone a country, as being somehow complicit. They aren't. None of us are in favor of this. Now, as I've discussed in other videos, you know, look, Thailand has a nightlife industry and, and it has an entertainment industry and that entertainment industry is an adult entertainment industry but it involves consenting adults. And that's what people here in Thailand are angry about. It's about the fact that children have been exploited, and that's a no-go. That, that and that will be dealt with summarily, I'm sure. The, but we do have an adult entertainment uh, sector, if you will. And that just is what it is. You know, I, I don't, I'm not trying to exactly be an apologist for it, but I'm also kind of tired of all this Western needling about, oh my God, God forbid men have a bar to go to where they can drink a beer and act like guys and, you know, maybe have some hostesses around that smile at them once in a, once in a while. God forbid we have that. I mean, you know, that said, I thought of making this video after reading a recent article from the Patea Mail. That's pateamail.com. Article is titled, Sex Scandal in Patea, Today's News is Tomorrow's History. Quoting directly, and I really like this article. Because in the article they go into, and, and we'll quote here, but they also go into what happened here and that that's tragic, and it is, and I agree, it's awful. But we have put our top cop, I mean, our, there is a national police chief, but 
sort of the top enforcer, if you will, has been put on it, that has me very, I'll say, far less concerned than I originally was when I first started reading about this. Because once I heard Big Joke was involved, it was like, well, okay, now there's the solution to that problem. In any event, quoting directly, in the last 10 years, Patia has been more fortunate in its headlines. The diversification of Patia into five-star hotel facilities and family entertainment, the growth of the mice, conventions and exhibitions, etc., and the transformation of the city into a concrete jungle all seem to stifle the sexual undertones. Indeed, the most widely reported Patia crime story the last decade was probably the arrest of 30 European bridge players in 2016, even though they were never charged with any offense. The importance of Pati and the Eastern Economic Corridor, a mammoth investment project which has, for example, brought major road improvements to the area, has been publicized in the quality press, but ignored by everybody else in the media. Yeah, and that, that's a good point. The sort of quality press, I don't know what it is. It's, it seems like media outlets, especially English language media outlets, media outlets of the West, just seem to like to target Patia. It's, it's, and again, I've said this in other videos. They also seem to conflate the entire nation of Thailand with Patia, which as I've said before, that's like looking at the entirety of the United States through only the lens of Las Vegas. It's not an accurate portrayal. Quoting further, the prime minister has made it very clear in recent months that the country needs more and more tourists, so extinguishing the bright lights of Sin City is hardly part of that agenda. In coming weeks, we are going to hear much about the benefits of zoning, making the resort safe for families with children. Yeah, and just as an aside here, good. Let's do some stuff like that. You know, let's set aside, okay, this is a zone. You know, where you want to go pitch, you know, pitch a little woo and have a good old time. Go, do that. You know, but again, I've always said Thailand has this kind of paradigm of conservative tolerance. The vast majority of Thais are highly, highly conservative, but they're very tolerant. I think it's kind of part of their religious paradigm. They're very live and let live up to a point. And children are on the other side of the line. You know, everybody agrees with that here. That's what I don't like about a lot of this Western reporting is that somehow there's an ambivalence out here about that. There isn't. You know, I said it in the other video, they called down the thunder and now they got it. They do. And the rest of the nation, it, you know, from my observation, is right on board with running this crap out of here. And I, I've said it before, rip it out, root and branch, burn it out like a cancer. Do whatever you got to do to get rid of it. That's the priority of Thailand right now. Now, it's not going to be one that's going to have a bunch of major headlines following this, because that, generally speaking, isn't really... Thailand's law enforcement style, but rest assured, this is a priority and it's being dealt with as a priority. Meanwhile, re, you know, the Thailand of the future, the Pattaya of the future is probably going to be a city with a lot of different sort of zones and there's certain places where certain activities are permitted and there's certain places where certain activities are not permitted. You know, this is a country where you see small children, not unlike Japan, for example, you know, where they have, what, what is that show, My First Errand or whatever, where little kids by themselves, even though there's hidden cameras, watch them go on their first errand on their own, because in Japan, it's that safe. That's what Thailand's striving for. And by the way, in virtually all the situations I have ever found myself in, that is the case. Children walk the street in this country freely and securely and without need to worry, quite honestly, because there are people like Big Joke out there guarding the door, so to speak, and keeping this stuff dealt with. So again, th this, this has been a bad s situation. It's a tragedy, but it's happened now and we're dealing with the aftermath. And there's two parts to that. Enhancement of law enforcement, which I think is already underway. And also stepping back and looking at the situation for what it is and saying, hey, this is not a systemic problem. This was an individual situation. But what part of it, it might be systemic. If there's others out there, 
guess what? They're going to be rooted out, and they're going to be found, and they're going to be dealt with. Let's put it that way. In any event, uh, quoting further, in coming weeks, we are going to hear much about the benefits of zoning, making the resort safe for families with children, ending police corruption, and introducing wastewater treatment systems. Still, as Night Owl columnist Bernard Trink once observed, quote, Padia listens to everybody, but doesn't always hear, unquote. Well, I think Padia heard this one, and Thailand heard this one as well, loud and clear. Long story short, there are rules here. No children is one of the big ones. And we're going to see that. Now, quoting from another article, Thai Examiner, that's ThaiExaminer.com. Article is titled, Big Joke Probes Patia Sex Scandal with High Stakes, Not Only for, quote, Sin City, but Thailand Itself. Quoting directly, The president of the Patia Night Business Operators Association, Mrs. Lisa Hamilton, voiced her concerns, asserting that foreign media had sensationalized the news. And I think that's well put. And it's, well, it's worth noting that... While, yes, this was a tragedy, no one is looking to diminish that. No one is looking to belittle that. No one is looking to shove that under the rug. This has happened. Thailand is, has taken steps that are the furthest thing from shoving something under the rug. They are exposing it to the cold light of Big Joke's probe, and I'm pretty sure no stone will go unturned in, in the search to deal with this. But that said, I think Miss Hamilton, Mrs. Hamilton makes a good point, which is this is being sensationalized and recognize that because Patia and Thailand generally are making good strides toward a future where we have tourism that while accommodating certain aspects of the nightlife, adult entertainment, whatever, is also going to be family friendly as well. And I think that that can be achieved and it's going to happen probably sooner rather than later. But I think it's good that we have law enforcement involved in this now, and it's, it's being greatly investigated or heavily investigated. I've, I've used the term strict scrutiny. I kind of I like that in this context. There's going to be a lot of strict scrutiny on this issue here moving forward. And the thing to take away from this is it should not diminish one's perception of Thailand as a perfectly safe place and a perfectly safe place to vacation with one's family.